Hello from Beer Australia Reviews, and this is just a quick intro to the latest live chats with Darren from Brute Style. Big thanks to Darren for putting together these videos, so over to Darren. Back for a, another beer review with uh, Simon from Beer Australia Reviews. Welcome back, buddy. Yep, cheers, mate. Uh, so, uh, we'll get to your recent trip to Margaret River in, in a moment, but um, we're going to be doing a yep. couple of beers today. Uh, one, again, um, we're going to be doing some core range. Well, I think we're going to be mainly doing core range. We're hoping to do some core in kind of limited to uh, see if I can convince Simon to come over to the good side. And um, But uh, I think we're going to focus mm -hmm. on, on core, yep. core range beers today. And, and today is a, we're yep. going to start off with a, with a uh, a beer that I know you're you're uh, you're quite fond of, a beer that I've not tasted yep. before from a brewery that I don't drink a lot of beer from. So I'm, I'm inter yep. interested to um to find out a little bit more uh, from your side about Colonial. But before we start, this, we're going to be doing a the small ale from Colonial Brewing. Uh, these guys are based down in Margaret River, been around since 2004. This is indeed a core range beer and a low ABV. Be two of the things that I don't typically go for. So, Simon, tell us a little bit about, uh, expand a little bit more on uh, Colonial and uh, the beer we're going to be uh, tasting today. Yep. Okay, well, Colonial is another one of these um, brew pubs and small breweries from the Margaret River region. So it benefits from the climate there and stuff and it benefits from the, uh, the nice walls and stuff. Uh, it's one of these venues where you can go and have a meal um, during the daytime. And it's very welcoming. Uh, one of the best things, though, about the Colonial is they're happy to sell you a, a mixed six-pack. I think it was in a six, not a four. So uh, when I was there, I, I bought myself a six-pack, went through all of them, reviewed a few of them. Um, but then I... I, the very last beer that I reviewed from there is the small ale. Now, um, I know these days people see a beer that's like 3.5% yeah. and they sort of scoff the thing and they say, hey, and especially you, right, <laughs> yeah, um, with your, you know, if it hasn't got a, um, I don't know, a kangaroo in the battle or something, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's not. Kangaroos, you know, it's kangaroo. yeah, exactly. That's a good yeah. place to start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but, um, but what they've done with this particular beer is they've made it in exactly the same style as like a, a big flavor IPA. So it's sort of in the style of a, like a Nipa sort of beer. Um, so like an East Coast, New England IPA, but they've done it down at 3.5%. And from for that, it's far more refreshing. It's just a nicer beer. I think this is better than the like five and 6% uh, stuff. I think this is the this is actually one of the best beers to come from the Margaret River region, and a lot of people would dismiss this one because literally it's a, it's called small ale, yeah. uh, and it's three point five percent. Well, I mean, like so, I, I've always gravitated towards these higher ABV beers, right? And uh, yeah. I wish I could find some beers that that still get kind of what I'm looking for, uh, but without that that higher ABV. And I've yet to find so this is super interesting for me uh, to kind of yeah. to see what they've what they've had to sacrifice to kind of to jam in as much flavor as they possibly can but also uh you know that, that lower abv so um i'm super excited about this one uh let's i know you got some graphics on the screen there um let's uh let's get this in a glass I'm, I'm, I'm super keen to get this on the nose and get this on the taste what you'll notice with this is as soon as you start to pour the thing out you'll notice it's it it's a lot like a uh, like a tropical pale ale It looks like a pale ale. It smells like a pale ale. Yes, yeah, so we brew to deliver a gentle, lasting bitterness, later sweet kick, and a citrus and pine goodness. You can drink small and stand tall. There we go. Excellent. Uh, so, of course, the uh, you yeah, know colour's quite nice as well. I've um, got a little bit of a whiff that of that aroma. Let's uh, let's get this on the nose. Yeah, yeah. Just give this one a try because I think this is just one of the nicest beers you're going to come across. It's a tropical IPA that's done well. Yeah, well, I definitely get the um, it's more subdued. Obviously, there's obviously not as many many, many hops in there, uh, but yeah, mm. that, the, the the character, the flavor, or the uh, the aroma rather is, is still still there. Yep. A little bit on the uh, like piney almost, I get. But uh, yeah, mm. I mean, let's uh, let's get on the taste. I'm keen. <laughs> Tangy. Yeah, you get it for, yeah, you get that that crispness always, right? Of course, right? You're gonna get that with the lower, mm. but yeah, I definitely get some of that yeah. uh, that hop character in there. 
as well, which I'm quite mm. surprised with. You know, some of these other beers, even yeah. like the four or five percent, it's more it drinks to me more like a, a, a it's more similar to a lager than what it is an IPA for me. You know, but um, like yeah. it feels like a w- very watered down uh, I- IPA. And I don't really get this. I'm super surprised for that low ABV. Mm, yeah, yeah. See, but what it's for, it's a refreshing beer. If it's a hot day, you've been out at the beach, um, you come back a little bit sunburned and one of these in the fridge, that's the sort of beer what it is. Yeah, there's that, there's that bitterness yep. that kind of hangs around like after after the taste, but yep. it's not it's not too intrusive. Um, mm. Mm. So are you liking the beer or not? Come on. Well, I mean, I, like, it's hard to say, you know, I, I like I like these... I like these bigger beers, right? And I know six point five percent is kind of entry is, is a low ABV beer for me, yeah. you know. So, yeah, yeah. Um, my, my my preference is always that, you know. I'm, I'm gonna dip my toe into these lower ABVs and these these kind of these these core range. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I, I, I like it more than I thought I was gonna like it. That's for sure. It's just it's a yeah, big yeah. adjustment, you know. What, what I what I go for in beers is that big hot punch, you know, that big body, that 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 just abundance of hop character. And I've just I've been on that fascination. For for a very long time so it's an adjustment yep. you know but like can I, can I see myself you know maybe driving or wanting to have a couple of these in, in the sun and, and 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 having this absolutely yeah it's it's, 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 yep, it's a beer yep. that i would drink again yeah yeah i mean if you go on the beach and stuff and you take one of these to have a, a, a cam while you're at the beach yeah uh if you're watching the football it's one of those sorts of beers you, you don't have to be have your socks blown off by the beer every single time <laughs> well. you, you need to diversify anyway uh I, I know you you like to think that you um drink the most diverse um, range of beers in the history of the universe no, not, but if you're not drinking these yeah. <laughs> no, no, no not not the most diverse just 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 the best just the the the, the, the better uh, end of yeah. the scale but uh, that's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. A, that's an argument for us, an ongoing argument. I, I think we're gonna we're gonna have, but I think this is a um this is a good this is a good beer. Let's get across to the uh, to the score, and mm. you know I think the people who are scoring beers on Untapped probably aren't the people that are maybe drinking the, these type of beers. This is a three point five, mm. um three point five mm. with a three point five ABV. A load of ratings on there. Uh, people are yeah. it's kind of up and down, which I guess you'd expect for a for a core mm. range beer. A lot of the people that are voting on this these uh, systems, I would imagine, are a bit more on the on the uh, the heavier side. So, listen, out, yeah. out, out of let me go first. So, for out of, out of five, being that this is a, a newish kind of style uh, for me, uh, I liked it more than I, I think. I, again, if under the certain conditions, it's something that I could have a couple of and not really get get sick of. I guess so. Uh, I think I'd give this like maybe a three point three point six three point seven is is fair for me. I imagine it's going to be a big, 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 higher for you. What, what, what do you reckon? Out of five? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm going to give this one like a four point five. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I, uh, I am looking forward to trying more of these type of beers because, yeah, like I say, if I see this on tap, I'd, I'd buy it again under, under the right, right um, yeah, circumstance. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I don't know whether you can get this on draft anywhere, but if you see it on draft, if you go into the pub and you see this, I would be getting a pint of this mm. one. Like you've been going to watch the football match and stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, uh, let's uh, let's let's wrap this one up. Let's get on to the next beer. Um, appreciate you uh, you showing me this one, and uh, let's get on to the next one. Okay, so the next beer we're going to be talking about is a beer from Cheeky Monkey Brewing Co. I've tasted this beer before, reviewed this beer, but uh, I wanted to do, do this again. Um, it's a, a fantastic beer. I haven't had it for a while. I'll get into that in a moment. But these guys are based out of uh, WA, two thousand been around since two thousand and twelve, uh, and. Uh, yeah, they've, they've they've spent a lot of time on this on this beer, this East Coast IPA uh, series, uh, the, um, uh, core range uh, beer. Now, uh, this is kind of inspired, and it was a you know long running kind of um, revisions and and um, from their previous series, their Surf Break series. So they've done a bunch of good beers uh, for the Surf Break series, North Point, Super Tubes, and most recently Rabbit Hole, which is a beer that uh, that I reviewed. All of those beers have been my favorite. They've, they've done a couple others, but for me, they were the standouts. Uh, and this one here is. Um, is uh you know is now core range so uh really uh interested to hear what you what you think of this one simon uh i know you recently yep. went down there so tell us a little bit about uh your, your experience with um with the cheeky monkey yeah okay well um i, I was in cheeky monkey uh, brewery um drinking all of their core range of beers on a beer tour just last week um so friday friday just gone i think um and yeah but um whilst i was speaking to the uh, the the beer tour um, driver 
um, Dick Older Guy's name was from the um, Margaret River Brewery Tours. So check out my video about the that one. I, I did sort of uh, document the day. And I was speaking to him about the Cheeky Monkey uh, beers because we both like me and the guy, um, Dick Older Driver, uh, both like the Cheeky Monkey West Coast IPA. Mm. And we rate, rate that as like um, one of our top beers. And he said a funny thing about it. The same thing as what you've mentioned about this beer is it changed a while ago. And it sort of went down and then came back up. And uh, what the guy Dicko said was that the West Coast IPA is now better than it was before. So um, I don't know these enough. Uh, I haven't been drinking that many often to, to see a difference between different batches. So yeah, you know, I mean, this, this, this is the reason. I mean, that when, when this when this first came out, this was um, I was I was really big on it. You know, like, this is a uh, it's a core range beer. There's you know, a lot of people that I know were comparing that to like the Biggie Juice and um, the the Baltus Hazy yeah. and that that kind of like good yeah. bang for your buck, right? It's not a 15, 20 mm -hmm. grams per liter beer, but it's a you know a good affordable staple beer. And when I first had it, it was phenomenal and then you know as the months or the weeks and the months went on and i kind of grabbed one here and one there i was like it's a, it's a little bit different there wasn't that consistency yeah. that i know it's probably very difficult to get and uh, it's, it's not a it's not a critique at all but it was just it seemed yeah. quite different from different batches and i think some of it probably mm. was maybe poor storage on the on the on the storefront on the the the, the, um, the stores front so it was kind of and then yeah. i kind of just went off it so i wanted i wanted to give it another crack um and that's interesting what you said what you said about this you know this is i'm not even tasted the yeah. west coast I'm, I'm more of a fan of the east coast kind of yeah. style that low, oh, well, low, low you, business. you need to try it yeah i i still i mean I've, I've tried both of them and whilst we were on the brewery tour i had both of them in like little tasting glasses and i still prefer the west coast to the east oh, coast oh interesting uh, but I, I, yeah I, I think i tried seven of their beers whilst i was on the beer tour and the stand-up one actually was the um their draft um uh is it a port or a stout and that was really nice. I, I, I had to toss that one, uh, but then I bought like a, a few cans and we, like we moved on to the next uh, brewery on the tour. Uh, but um, ah, anyway, great. I'm starting to desiccate. We need to get yeah, this let's, one in the can. Let's get in the glass. Yeah, the can and in the glass. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, so the uh, the guy Dick, oh, he obviously he's been working on the brewery tours for five years. So he visits this place uh, literally every single working day and for him to say that there was a change it might not have been the storage it might have been actually at source that the thing changed yeah and i'll be i'll be interested one of the things that i found unusual and it's happened with this can as well i'm not getting any kind of um can date on the bottom of it some of them haven't some of them don't so do you have any do you have like a can can date like a best before or packaged on under under your can yeah there's something on the edge Hold on, hold on. Let, me, let me pour this out before I do the classic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure. But yeah, this <laughs> yeah. this is this is the thing that I've that I've found um, you know quite quite challenging. You know, so obviously I'm not too much of a snob when it comes to that. You know, if it's if it's past like six months, I'm kind of I'm looking for the fresher can. But I just don't know, and I don't know if that's maybe I had some old cans or what. But some of them have been quite off. Um, okay, I've got a package date on this one and a best before date. Okay, so what's the package date there? Okay, package date is the fifteenth of the sixth, twenty one. Okay, so yeah, you're right. Okay, so a couple of but oh, we're coming up to three months old. Yep, and then a best before date is fifteen oh three twenty two. Yeah, so they normally give them so, normally give them a year. Yeah, fifteen. 15 months worth on that one so how's the color for you for for, for me i know it's, it's different lighting so it's probably not yours looks a lot more hazy than what mine does mine almost looks like yeah from when i when i think of like east coast and from memory i remember it being a little hazy i don't know if i've got an oldish kind of can here yeah i, I mean that looks like the other sorts of um uh, east coast ipas that i've tried and um, one thing i will do i don't know whether you can pick up on the camera to see the whether or not you can see there's like some sediment in the bottom there's like um, if you go a little bit uh, oh shorts. yeah right you know i'm not getting that on mine at all yeah. it's it's actually so i've seen a few beers like this one i mean it, it's it, it's a hazy beer which means it's got sediment in there yeah 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 so it, it is supposed to be so that that's that's what i would expect yeah i wouldn't mind i, I don't mind the sediment let's get this on the nose i'll be yeah. quite keen to get here what, uh, what you think on that Ah, well, it's got immediately. It's got like the tropical fruit aromas, but comparing it to the um, the colonial small ale that we've had, I don't think it's got. I, I don't think it's, for the extra amount of um, ingredients in this and the extra alcohol content, like double, almost double the alcohol. I don't think it has double the um, the sorts of aromas. Yeah, even in this as well. You know, you know what I mean. I, I don't know. I, I didn't check the. Um, I've got no date on this. So I don't know if I've got an old can here, but. Uh, mm. 
I mean, like, the, the aroma's there, but it's not what I remember it from that first first couple of times yeah. I tried it. You know, like, I, of yeah. course, you don't, you don't expect that from a, from a you know, this price beer. You know, I understand it's a core yeah. range beer, but I got, I distinctly yeah. remember getting some good tropical aroma. And I'm, I'm kind of not, I'm not getting as, you know, from what I remember. So they're, 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 yeah. they're saying, I mean, I'm, it's okay. I'm saying it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, the hops here, Mosa Mosaic, uh, El Dorado, Strata, and Citra. Um, yeah, let's, let's get on the taste. What do you, what do you think on the taste? Oh, that's a smooth. That's a that's a nice beer. Yeah, it's smooth. It's a little bit sweet. Um, hits a bitterness. It's got the usual um, uh, IPA grapefruits um, on the back of this one. But I'm enjoying this beer. Um, yeah, am I enjoying it a little bit more than the Colonial that I've just had? Um, so, I th yeah, mm. I, I think I think I've got a a, a reasonably old. Uh, version um, of batch here. I, I, again, it's, it's I'm still it's still a nice beer. I'm, I'm, I don't think it's a bad beer whatsoever. We're still getting that low mm. bitterness, but I'm getting that bitterness in the back, and I'm not, but I'm just not getting that that vibrancy which I kind of expect. Even like I've got to compare it to a biggie, right? That's the only kind of reference or a Baltus hazy. I'm just getting that little bit of yeah. I feel like it's old. So I think maybe you've got a, you've got a newer can there. So you, mm. Oh well, I mean this this came in straight from the source. Oh well, so. there you go. Yeah, yeah gotcha. Mm. Okay, so let's go. Let's go on yours. So you're getting that. You're getting the nice bit of uh, tropical in there as well. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this one. <laughs> Excellent. Let's um, let's get across to uh, Untapped. I'd be really interested to see what Untapped have kind of give it, given it mm. being that it's um, it's been around for quite a while now. So I'm just going to drag this across. Uh, let's have a look at um, cheeky East Coast. So 3.92 uh, with uh, mm -hmm. you know, 299 ratings. So I don't think it's fair fair for me to me to score this. Um, I'm gonna stick with my uh, my other score, which I think was about a four. I think it's unfair to kind of give it, mm -hmm. which I think is quite an old can that I've got got here. So what do you think out of five compared to the beer we had last and just overall impressions? What do you, what do you think? Ah, uh, okay. So the beer that we had last, I think, is a. Uh, is a really high quality example of that type of beer, which is why I'm giving it a 4.5. This one I'm going to give it though, I'm liking this. Uh, it's like a 4.2, 4.25, there you go. Excellent, excellent. So um, let's wrap that up there. I, I'm going to go out and I'm going to try to find a newer, 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 uh, newer can. But I have seen this. You know, a load of these cans don't have. So you don't know, right? Like, um, which I don't know if that's intentional or a mistake or what. But uh, I'm optimistic that I've got myself a, a reasonably old can here. I'm going to go out and buy a can, um, a new can, yeah. and, and go from there. So I'm glad, glad you enjoyed it. Uh, I love, I love this mm. style. Uh, let's move across to the next beer, the uh, the Hawker's Hazy. Okay, so the next beer we're going to be tasting uh is from hawkers so uh, i'm a bit of a fan of this brewery recently actually uh these guys are based out of melbourne they've been around since 2014 self-described unconventional um brewing so they not just unconventional, but also you know they, they do a bunch of traditional beers, and I'm really liking the the experimental experimental piece of Hawker. So you can see on screen here they do a load of different beers. I don't think this this captures uh, some of the beers that I've seen, some of the some, you know the style that I'm really familiar familiar with and fond of, when the you know the the hazy kind of East Coast style. Uh, but the beer we're going to be tasting today is again um, similar to the previous beer we've done. It's a it's an entry level hazy you know East Coast. Uh, um, uh, beer around about that kind of you know six seven dollars. I think I paid seven dollars for this beer. Uh, I know you haven't tasted this beer, um, Simon. I have in full transparency, and I like it um, for for what it is. Uh, so um, yeah. you have, have, have you heard anything about Hawkers? You had tried a beer from them before? I have. I have never even seen the brand before. Um, the only reason why I ended up with this um, can is because you said it was on the list of um, cans that we should try. So I went into the into the bottle shop and I said, "Hey, have you got any of this?" And he said, "Yep, we've got that one." Um, I had never heard of it, never seen it before. Excellent. All um, right. Well, I mean, I'd be interested. Yeah. I know this uh, this is a new beer, so we're not going to be in the situation where we were previously. Well, this one was uh, canned on the 4th of August. So this is super fresh. You should have a similar batch. I know this is a new beer for them. I've got a best before days. I don't see a can. Yeah, well, I mean, take a year away, take a year off that, right? That they normally put yeah. them in there. Well, this one says 20th 
uh, best before twentieth of the seventh, twenty two. Okay. So yeah, of course. Was so, this one canned in July twenty one? I, th- I would say so. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, from this one, uh, expect that kind of uh, you know, low bitterness. Um, the hops in here, Mosaic, Motueka, Citra, Galaxy. For me, for all that I'm familiar with with this style, that is a fantastic combination. I really like them, the Motueka yep. uh, hops. So let's yep. uh, let's get this in a glass. On the pour, I'm not sure if you're seeing the same thing as well. That really light malt. Um, it's it's cloudy as hazy, hazy for days. Yep, yep, yep. Um, usually you've got to move them around a little bit um, to get the cloudiness in, but this one's looking cloudy straight off. Oh, I'm getting um, aromas from this one. Yeah, I mean, um, this is, um, yeah, you, you, I mean, you can see, like when I think of kind of East Coast, um, East Coast IPA, I, th- I think I, th- I, th- I think of that. Um, as soon as you pop the can out, yeah. it does help, of course, oh. that it's um, that it's fresh. Yeah, yeah. So this one reminds me immediately of um, the beer what I had from um, uh, the Sensei Hazy IPA from Deep Creek in New Zealand. Mm-hmm. Uh, the last time I had one that was that sort of colour, that sort of aroma, that was the um, that was that one. Which um, if you haven't tried that one, by the way. Um, Deep Creek Sensei Hazy IPA. Give it a try. Absolutely. Because um, that one was just, yeah, that one was, um, uh, I mean, the national dish, I don't know if you know this, but the national dish um, of New Zealand is something called the pineapple lump. Okay. I didn't know that. Yep. So, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I, I, ha- I, I have that on good authority from Miguel, I don't know. Um, and literally, I think they squeezed all the pineapple lumps in the entire country into one can of it. <laughs> Boy, that's, uh, let's, let's get this on the nose. Okay, yep. hear what you think of that. Oh, you don't, you, right, right, the aroma's coming yeah, out. Yeah, I mean, for me, there. like, yeah, yeah the, the, the pineapple, the grapefruit. Um, mm. Yeah, there's a lot of citrus in this yeah, one as well. more citrus than kind of mango. Like, I, I typically, it's, it's easy just to say, you know, oh, tropical flavours, but the, for this one, yeah, it's for me, it's more it's more of that kind of pineapple than than um, than else. So maybe a little bit of passion fruit in there as well. Uh, now, it, is that a psychological thing, though? Because um, it definitely it looks like pineapple juice. I mean, is your brain Possibly. telling you that it looks like it? Yeah, Possibly. because it's, there's often a placebo effect, and especially if you read the website before you drink the thing, you will always, um, you'll always pick up whatever they say. Well, so zest, citrus, stone fruit, and floral uh, is is what they're yeah. saying on the website here. Let's get on the taste, yeah. Oh, grapefruit on the background. Yeah. Oh, there's a there's a. A sweetness across the tongue and then a, a, like a grapefruit at the back yeah i mean I, 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 the, the mm. mouthfeel is kind of what i expect from a uh from a from an east coast you know that i don't want to say the word pillowy but, you know, but it's like it's it's soft isn't it it's full um mm. i don't know if there's any lactose in this as well i'm getting a little yeah i'm getting a little bit of citric tang on the tongue though but it, it's it's smooth as well at the same time so uh, anytime you get a beer that's got like different characters to it it's got like more complexity you get them just better value for you for your money yeah sure i mean so they're, they're, is, they're saying there's yeah. no lactose in here, here so that maybe i was trying to see maybe that's where we're getting the sweetness from but f- for me from this entry level kind of you know the, the biggie juice comparison this is i i, mm. I, I, I like this style and i like this type of beer what, 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 what are your impressions what do you think I, i'm really liking this one mm. So I think um, uh, hazy IPA. I know I'm. Um, I know I'm, I put these down a little bit, but I do like them. Oh, I feel I feel like this is a step towards my way, Simon. I feel I feel like this is this is a good example of a of a of a big solid step towards uh, the east the east coast the east coast IPA series or beer in general. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm quite happy on the light side, by the way. I'm in you know the rebel causes. I'm I'm okay with. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that 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 that, that, that nice soft mouthfeel, nice bit of like mm. you know, again, not not to compare it to that kind of that you know the deeds or the Mister Banks or the range. You know, it's not trying to be that for, but for a seven buck beer to have that you know nice bit of aroma, a nice mm. bit of complexity. I mean, it's six point two percent, so it's not particularly sessionable, but um, yeah, I, I love this style. Yeah, uh, well, I, I am liking this one. The other thing as well, whenever I see a, a beer from Melbourne, I'm always like a little bit cringy because the water quality can be very variable. Um, so anytime that you get a beer where you cannot taste, if it's brewed in Melbourne, but you can't taste Melbourne water, they've done the right thing with it. Um, some beers, you can just taste Melbourne water and you just like that, can't drink that one. Uh, I'd be interested to see uh, what people have scored this. Um, so let's go mm. Hawkers, uh, Hawkers Hazy. 
Hazy IPA. There we go. So uh, 3.89, 342 ratings. Um, is mm. it, uh, just to go back to what you're saying about the water. Like, I'd be surprised if some of these bigger breweries aren't treating their water. I, I don't know that to be oh, true. Like, I don't know whether or not they're just taking taking it and no, not treating it. Right. I, I would assume no, that some of them it, would be. Right. Um, it's entirely um, random. Um, some breweries, which are really well established, um, do the water straight out of the reservoir, and you think did they even you know, turn that into beer? Or is it just the the, the thing you all said? Some smaller places are doing really good beer. Some places um, have different breweries in different um, locations, and um, some of them taste good, and some of them taste awful. So it's completely random across Australia. I'm I'm really you never know what you're going to get until you drink the beer. I mean. Even there's a few breweries in Perth who do not treat the water. There's a couple of breweries in Perth who over treat the water right? yeah. uh, and throw too much stuff in. Um, so you, you never know what you're going to get. Um, generally speaking, though, um, I find the whole range of beers, it's either treated correctly or it's not treated correctly. And if one of them is over treated and it's too bright, the whole range is. And if some of them are under treated or not treated at all, which is the worst part, um, then the whole range is um, is compromised. I think, in my opinion. Yeah, well, I think this is not an example of that. I think this is well well balanced. I mean, it's it's, oh, it's, mm. it's not something like a like a lager or even a pale ale where you're kind of looking for that. It is obviously a hop forward beer, right? The, the, the focus mm. is on the hops. Yeah. There's very little malt character in there. You know. It's, not so expressive on the yeast, but it's 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 just a hop jam packed hop mm. beer for seven bucks a can. So for, for me, uh, I, I love these sort of style. I'm looking for more of these type of beers that are like good bang for your buck uh, for that style. Mm. So let's get across to the score. So I'll, I'll yeah. again, I'll, kick, I'll kick, kick, kick us off. What do you think? Yeah, I would be happy to have this one again. This is um, I'm, I'm liking this beer. Um, I've raised it a little bit below the Sensai Hazy IPA, which is the closest one which I could um, uh, relate this one to. And so I would have given the hate the sensei about a four point three. I'm gonna give this one a four point one. Cool. Uh again, so the, the score there is three point uh nine. Uh, I, I think that's a fair score, 4.1. Um, you know, 4.1 yeah. for me. There's some of the top, like the maximum score I've given for like a West Vallarton 12 is like a 4.7. So that's my top. Yeah. I'm trying to leave some space. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, this this again, I think 4.1 is fair uh, for the price you pay and for the quality of the beer. So let's wrap yeah. this up. Are we going to do another one? Do we, or are we, are we wrapping up? Um. <laughs> it's... Um, right. Whether I can get up and down the stairs or not in a minute. <laughs> well, it's, if, if the video ends here, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. See you next time. If it doesn't, uh, we're going we're to do another one. If it doesn't, you'll have to tap it out. <laughs>